today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. It's your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is manifesting success. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. So I want to do something completely different. I got up this morning. I was writing down my goals. I was doing everything, everything that I do in my routine that keeps me on track day in and day out. Sitting there listening to music at uh, the coffee shop. And I don't really love music, but it was just kind of going over my over my years, it's all my top of mind awareness, being very aware and, and present in the moment. And I started thinking about my previous businesses and about the relapses and about the struggles and about basically essentially how resilient I personally am. Um, for me, I think I, I had, there was a time in my life I had to really had to smash my head through some shit because I didn't think I deserved it. Right? I didn't think I deserved to be successful. Nobody in my family was really, really, truly successful in front of me. We didn't really know how to do it. Still don't always know how to do it. Right? I don't always have my shit together. I mean, I literally just text my, my fiance, hey, you think finance guys actually know as much as I do because they want my money all the time, but I don't think it's in my best interest. And um, so my, my, my point is this. I was looking back at what is the similarities. So as I was listening to music, all of a sudden I got this divine connection inside of my mind on a, on a level that I didn't really, that I tapped into. And I'm like, okay, fuck, I'm actually able to see myself back here looking at the business, looking at myself in the drunk state of mind as building these things. Then I was transferred over to looking at myself without the business, but working on myself. I'm like, dude, what is the same piece here? Like, I've been successful at being able to dig myself out of the pit over and over and over, whether that's financially, emotionally, spiritually, relationshiply. I don't know if that's a word. But I've realized the one thing that's been common, the manifestation of actually being able to see it. And I think that's a big piece, okay? I mean, this war is one or lost inside of our mind no matter what. I truly believe that it, it didn't make sense years ago when I started reading the self-help books and listening to the videos and, <clears throat> excuse me, and going through all that stuff and they say, oh, you just got to have this burning desire. You got to see it in your mind's eye. And, and I could always see it, but it didn't really connect into it. It didn't make sense to me. I look back at the first business I built, I knew fucking dick about trucking. I knew nothing. But I knew that I grew that thing exponentially at a very, very fast rate. Now, I couldn't, I didn't focus on the drinking and the drugs and the shit that I was going through because I honestly thought at that time that was my superpower. But if I look at just the success, the financial gain that I took from that, even when I was getting started, I had no money and was just figuring it out. I saw myself as a fucking millionaire. Then even as I lost it, as I lost the next business and went to the bottom and there was a rough period where I was suicidal and feeling like crap and wanted to give up on life, there was still a piece of me in the back of my mind that could see like that door, like a big fucking great door was just closing down, but there was just enough light peeking through to be like, dude, this isn't any longer. And once I went to that light and, and let myself go through that door, I opened up the next million dollar company. I still struggle with drugs. I still struggle with alcohol. I was able to, I was able to get short-term sobriety at that time, but it blew up. Now, how I'm going to tie this together with the drinking and the drugs and the partying and the lifestyle that I lived was after I went, I lost that one because I didn't truly get that under control. I switched the same mindset that I took into manifesting success for my business, success for my family, success, the, the success that I saw at that time into the addiction. I tapped into that addiction, and then I never looked at myself the same. I never declared that my life was powerless. I never declared that my life, that I'm a loser. I never declared that I had a disease, and I'm struggling, and I'm like, I had to live with this for the rest of my life. There was enough light shining in that said, hey, just maybe I need to consider this possibility that on the other side of this fucking pain that I'm in, because this pain is comfortable, and this pain is what I've been through over and over and over, and maybe you're like the same, the possibility is that I am in control. I'm just doing the wrong fucking things. So I looked at that, and I looked back at the past four years, going on five years of, of being sober and helping hundreds and hundreds of men, just like you listening to this, get sober and get their life back on track. I hate the word sober, but get control of their life. And I realized the main piece that I've been able to do the whole time for these guys and for myself is even when I was in that pit and I was day one, day two, I don't, not about counting the days, but the reality of it is I had to go through those days. I never looked at myself again like a fucking junkie. I never looked at myself again like a fucking loser. When those thoughts would come in, I was able to become self-aware. Now, this took a lot of fucking work. 
This took a lot of time to work myself, a lot of reading books, a lot of journaling, a lot of mental just reps, reps, reps. So I'm not saying I made a decision and you can make a decision today and it just all goes away. It doesn't work that way. What I'm saying is the same success that you took to build your business, if we can tap into and harness and unleash that into the mindset needed to be able to control your life, you're going to fucking go on another plane. You're going to elevate. There's levels to this shit. I put a post out this morning that said I got 99 problems but getting wasted day one. And the truth is, and I just like that saying because I like Jay-Z, the truth is this. I don't have a lot of problems. I'm not saying that. Like, we've all got problems, right? But I don't have a lot of them because I deal with my shit. Because I manifest what I want out of it. I see it. I look for the divine connection and the definitive outcome of what I want to get out of each and every situation. And I go in it to a win. And I feel really good right now speaking this podcast and talking to you guys because I think you're going to get it. And I think you can. I don't care where you are in your journey right now. I don't care how ultra successful you are or how ultra successful you aren't. I care that the one divine connection that we have between all of us is the mindset and the ability to fucking win. For years and years and years, if you've been conditioned that you're not good enough or that you let the stress eat at you from the business, when you can take a step back and you can look at who you were and, and how you operated at that time, I guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. If you could just peek a little bit harder and look at the other side of it and understand where you're going, the actions will start showing up. And the same thing happens here with the drinking, with the drugs, with relationship, with parenting. You've got to understand what you want out of it. Nothing else matters inside of this world. This In your world, in your space, and I, I know that I may be going against everything that the Bible says and fucking society says and all these things, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't mean that I'm not a Christian. doesn't mean that I don't like people. doesn't mean that I, I, I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, nobody's going to solve your problems but you. I can sit here. I can preach. I can teach. I can reach. But I can't do it for you. I can show you the way and I can guide you. But it's up to you to harness into that power. And I know the fact. And this is simple. You wouldn't be listening to this. You wouldn't be watching my videos. You wouldn't be consuming my content if you didn't want more. If you didn't think there was a different way. If you didn't walk into a room one time or haven't, maybe you haven't yet, you thought about going to AA, you know what's out there. And declare that your life is powerless, you have a disease. What I'd like you to do is for a second just consider the possibility of clicking on this link. And on the other side of this link, or typing in, like I should say, I always, I always say wake on this podcast. If you consider the possibility of just typing in I am a comeback.com forward slash apply of what me what may be possible for your potential, what your life might look like, what everything might change, how you might be able to control your thoughts, emotions, actions. So success breeds clues. Leaves clues. Success breeds success. My ability to wear, to go through the, the pain. I, I shared my story yesterday with with some people at a, the Fourth of July party, and I realized how fucking deep in the pain was. And I'm not saying that that cool. I really don't give a fuck, and I don't want you to try to compare yourself to me. I want you to understand this. I am no different than you. I get up every day. I put my pants on the same way. I'm willing to do the work day in day out because I want more. I want more for my family. I want more for my business. I want more for my employees. I want more for my friends. I want more out of my body. I want more for you, and I want more for myself. But it comes down to making a choice. As always, click the link below. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. And let's see if we can get you fixed up. Let's see if we can get you making the right choices and owning everything about yourself. That's it for today's episode. I will see you on tomorrow's. Have an amazing day. Take care.